Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to go over the reasons why Isaac and I decided to leave Vietnam after the night market next to our apartment had blown up and everything caught on fire. So let's start off with a little backstory so you understand a little bit more. While we are full-time travelers and have traveled an entire year around Southeast Asia, we've decided that in November, we're going to go to New York to stay in an ashram. So we are leaving our travels for a little bit and heading back to New York in October, actually. So with that being said, we have about three months left of our travel trip. And we don't know when we'll be back because we're going to go back to Texas after we go to New York so that I can work my nursing job so that I can keep my nursing license active. And Isaac and I are stuck. We feel stuck because we want to make the most out of this trip. We want to make sure it's meaningful, it's purposeful meaningful and purposeful and we want to make the most out of this trip and we had an original plan my friend had flown from america to come see me we're going to travel for about two weeks and then isaac's going to stay with his dad in thailand for two weeks and then after that we were going to come back to vietnam and then fly to malaysia because i'm going to need a new visa so we have to do a visa run so our original plan was to travel separately for two weeks while I go to North Vietnam and then go to Malaysia for a week for a visa run. But it just didn't feel right. So the night before the fire, Isaac and I sat down and we did a little workshop. We asked ChatGPT to write us up a bunch of questions so that we could find out what is the most meaningful in our lives, what brings us the most joy, what brings us happiness, and how we can make the most out of these last three months. We were trying to use ChatGPT to create a plan for us. But after six hours of answering questions, writing things down, we were in a rut. We, if anything, we felt like we've taken a hundred steps back. and We had no idea what we wanted to do. Some of the ideas was go back to Bali because they have kirtan, ecstatic dance, meditation, community, everything that is meaningful to us and truly brings us joy. We thought about going back to Nepal and living in a monastery, which we've done in this trip. I raised the idea of going to Japan because I've always wanted to go to Japan and we're in Asia, so we might as well. And I even said we should go to Italy because I've always wanted to go to Italy. But after that night, we had no idea what we wanted to do. What do you do when you can do anything? Where do you go when you can go anywhere? So that was the night before the fire. And I'm just going to say we are one to listen to the signs of the universe. And the universe really exploded the, the answer in our face. So... After the workshop, we were just distraught. We didn't know what to do. So we went to bed around 2.30 in the morning. At 4 a.m., I hear a loud explosion. Mind you, we're living on the night market, so bangs aren't really uncommon. Screams aren't really uncommon. We're next to bars. There's fireworks all the time. But this time it sounded like the fireworks were inside the hotel and I could actually feel the hotel shaking. But I was dead asleep and I couldn't wake myself up. And I'm kind of mad at myself about that. But then Isaac heard a bunch of sirens and he gets up and he goes over to the window and he looks out and he starts going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I'm naked in bed. What? what? What's going on? What's going on? He didn't say anything. He opens up our balcony door and starts really screaming. Oh my God, we got to go. We got to go. And I, I have no idea what's going on. If, I think I ha was having like a, a nightmare of a war happening, probably from all the bangs. So I thought there was an actual war going on outside or something. So I get up, I put on clothes as fast as I can. I open up our balcony and there are flames sky high, about 10 feet from us. The building that everyone keeps their stuff from the night market had blown up, literally blown up. And we were on the seventh floor and we could see flames all the way to probably about the fifth floor. So we grab everything that we possibly can. We tried grabbing all of our valuables, our passport, our wallet, and our phone, and just ran out. I inhaled a bunch of smoke coming out. There was firemen, people, everyone trying to get out the fire. It was chaos. But because of all the smoke, we ended up going to the beach so we could wait until it cleared. And when we were sitting on the beach, Isaac looked over at me and he said, well, I guess we're not supposed to stay in our hotel. And we kind of just laughed it off in the moment because it... It seemed like a sign from the universe, but it was just like, ha, huh, you know, maybe. But then when we came back after all the smoke had cleared and the fire was gone, we came back to our apartment that we've been in for two months, mind you. And we got in our closet to look for the valuables that we couldn't find when we were trying to gather everything up. He was specifically looking for his mala. And while we were looking for that, we found $88 in Thai bot and a bunch of other uh, 
small bills for other countries. But specifically, $88 in Thai baht, which is a lot of money on this side of the world. And keep in mind, he'd already planned to go to Thailand, but he planned to come back. And in that moment, you, you can't deny that. The universe says, leave this apartment, leave Vietnam for now, and go to Thailand. So after my two-week trip of visiting North Vietnam, I'm going to just fly over to see Isaac, and we're going to stay in Thailand for a bit. And we're going to cancel our Malaysia trip, which we've already paid for. And we received signs from the universe of 222 and 444 when everything is going our way and we're in alignment. And we have nonstop been seeing that since. So we know that we made the right choice. What do you think? Do you think we're crazy or do you think you would have listened to the universe as well? Well, that's it for now. In the next two weeks, I'm going to be putting out videos of all my North Vietnam trip. Uh, we're going to go to Hanoi, where we're actually at now. And then... Sapa, Ninh Binh, and then we're going to fly to Thailand and spend some time in Thailand. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Nini. I'm a full-time traveler. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <music>